Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome to Grace Blossoms for You. And this is my flip through of my completed journal, Treasure Peace. That's Treasure Peace as in P-E-A-C-E, -E, not the piece of treasure. And you'll see why I needed to have a closure for it. It was just so big and full. So I put this ribbon on it and I just put the little bit of jewelry pin on there so that, or brooch I guess, just to show that that was supposed to be where it opens. I'll put that back on there later. All right, so. On the spine, I ended up um, putting some ribbon and some roses and then this, um, I don't know, bead thing. <laughs> and on the front, I had my topper and a lace streamer. Thank you to everyone who gave ideas um, from stamping on fabric to the lace streamers. I think I got that from Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. And uh, I'll try to mention a few others as I go through here. So this is the letter from the maker of the journal. And I got the rough draft from Pam at the Paper Outpost, which I modified to my liking. So right off the bat, here is a piece of lace that I laminated and made a charm out of, or a dangle. Got that idea from Natasha at Treasure Books. And so then there's a pocket I think I made that with Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda as well with the window. This part, there's some empty pages, but it got so full I couldn't add any more. Um, so here's a journal piece inside a snippet roll. Some painting, stamping, a window pocket. Uh, I can't remember what kind of pocket this is, but it, anyway, so it was from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodle, and it acts as a belly band so you can put stuff behind. So the paper edgings, a lot of those ideas came from Natasha at Treasure Books. Then a lot of clusters on top of stenciling. Here's a piece of music paper that I just used as a bit of a tuck. I guess it's too small to be a pocket, but it works as a pocket. It's just on the small side. Use my decorative um, scissors for edgings. Also use some stamping, some punches rather for the edges. Here is some paper that I got postal paper from Margaret at Seven Plaza. She provided the stamps as well. So I made a tuck spot there. I included this uh, airmail envelope. It's empty and it's very thin. Um, it's I've had it for a long time. I don't know how long, but it's so thin and flimsy. This is a fabric paper clip with some, uh, a button and some lace and that on there. And another cluster. I incorporated some magazine pages. I, um, I sewed them or backed them onto some jelly print paper that I had and I gave it some lace there. So I've got a couple of themes running throughout, um, pottery, and it hits on a couple of seasons, like spring, summer, and fall, that's three, 
Um, so this should take a person pretty much through the year. I did not emphasize winter. I feel like around here winter is such a a major thing that I, I just don't want to dwell on it. <laughs> so I figure I'd rather concentrate on the 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 spring, the new growth and the, the flourishing and then some you know seasonal fall stuff which brings in the Thanksgiving thoughts and so yeah there's a couple of seemingly empty pages but people could sure um, add more paper in here if they like um, so here's a cluster again I stamped some butterflies. I did edge a lot of the papers with stitching, which I really enjoyed. Here's a lighthouse. And there's one of the tags we made with Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. There is a matchbook notebook. And that's pretty thick. Some of the things I might have removed if um, if I had, um, what do you call it? If I'd had the option, I might have removed some things because it just really got thick on me at the end. But I did actually take out some things that I wanted to put in here. But I figured it was more important to sort of be able to close the book. So, music paper, corner pocket, actually this is a, f a flip, you can open it, I attached it with um, some Velcro, people could write in there, there's a, a tuck spot in there as well, here's a note piece, a journal spot, got the idea from Shabby Dabby Duda. I'll keep up some right in there. Now all the verses, all the Bible verses that you saw me reading while making this journal, I am removing and I am including as a bon including those as a bonus to the journal and I'm including them in the package. But I'm not going to assume that the person who buys the journal is absolutely going to want to have those verses in here. They may want to use this entirely for something else. And that's perfectly fine too. So, more pockets. Lots of pockets. So if the person was really into writing, they could take out and write on all the cards. They're all blank in the back. Here is a, just a little pocket, but then it's a, it's a fold over, flip over pocket. Here's the other part of that um, postal paper. And then I have a page that has to do with tea. And I tried to match the color for some note paper there. And here I used a t made a tab out of some tea bag um, strings, you know, with the, the tab they have on them. And um, yeah, so here's another pocket. So many pockets. A rose page. This is a flip over journal page. This is actually a 12 by 12. I just thought that was kind of interesting to put in there. There's the number 10. This is the 10th journal that I have made officially. The 10th big one. I've made some smaller ones. but So I incorporated charms throughout where I could or where I thought to. Here is a journaling spot with more sheets in it to write. It's tied up with a ribbon and it's attached with this um, paper clip. And it's decorated on both sides of the paper clip. So it looks like a 
I don't know, it's pretty big, but I did that intentionally because I don't have a lot of things flipping over the page in this one. Here's an envelope, and it was supposed to attach. So this is the closure. That's the envelope, and it's lined. And I sewed all around it. Um, I was thinking of putting all the Bible verses in there, but I think I'm going to actually put those in a separate one altogether. So this is a paper clip closure and then I'm just going to attach it to there. I actually put some lines in so people would know that they can write in it. Uh, another pocket, another page edge. So here's a paper clip with a little charm on it. Here's some more of that pottery. And so the reason I put the pottery in here, the pages with the decoration of the pottery, because the um, cross-stitch paper in here has a pottery theme as well. So there's that. More clusters. A um, what do you call that? This had the really long name. I think I got this idea from Rachel at uh, Roxy Creations. The tabbed flip over um, double pocket. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name exactly. I, I mentioned it in a video before. I put this picture in here. I just thought it was cute the way her face was kind of peeking out there, looking mis looking all mysterious like. People could write on this page as well. And there's one of the tags that we made with Tina Chabby Dabby Duda. A pocket. Here's some silk flowers or petals that I did for a page edging. In retrospect, they're a little bit bulky, but what you gonna do? And then here's a bag I decorated and stuck an envelope on there and put a little thing inside. Again, that could hold other treasures and it could hold more writing. Here's another spot for writing. Here's another tag from Tagtastic Challenge. Another pocket. Here's the, where I put a magazine page and then flipped it over and made a small tuck there. And this has to do with the summer theme as well as the lighthouse. So I thought these were really cool. And then there's another tag. I think this is the um, Oh, this is the one with the window. There was another one that had the journaling theme. But here's another tag with a bee and an applique of a butterfly. There's a butterfly pocket. And I kind of like this idea. I don't know if I've seen anybody do this, but this is what came to my mind to do with this um, really nice ribbon. I just I had a lot of it left on one end, and so I decided to just attach it to the edge of the page, and I think that looks so sweet. And there's another page um, corner tuck. Again, it's got the, the flip so that you can write in it. In the center of the signature is the pocket I think it's called, I think we decided to call it the Carrie Pocket. Carrie the Crafter, C-E-R-I, the Crafter, on YouTube. And he showed us how to make those pockets. And then there's a journal card with fabric on it. Got that idea from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And some more pockets. There's a window... A window pocket that I inserted a butterfly into. 
um, stickers for the page edge. Another tag from Tina's project. This one actually has the note paper in it. And here's the number 10 again. I wanted it to be kind of visible so that people would realize that there's something special about this. Then I put a card in here. I printed this out. I got it at Creative Fabrica. And it's just a blank card, so they can either use that, give it away, whatever they like. They can write in it. Here's my coffee page, and it has a coaster. It has a coffee cup that I drew, and then there's a cluster there. And there's a cluster, but it's also a tuck. Here is a pocket that has like seven places to put things in. I was so surprised. Okay, so here is the tag that we made together with the sewn on picture. And um, it fits so nicely in this one. So here we have this little front pocket. Then we have this little hidden uh, corner tuck here so that's one two three four five now why did I think there were seven? Oh, I remember there are three layers of paper right here. So there's actually three um, places to tuck things in. It's just not very obvious right now because I don't have things in all of them, but there are actually one, two, and then three. So they're all available for tucking. So, yeah, seven spots in one pocket. I thought that was quite phenomenal. And then a page strip that I watercolor painted. I want to remember this pocket because I think it's so neat that it needs to be in more journals. <laughs> okay, so then there's another cluster with another tag, again, from Tagtastic. We got a lot of things done. Here is a ticket strip from Victoria Designs. That was a freebie in her newsletter. And it also works as a belly band type idea. Here is a flip out or flip down. And I added more paper for writing. So that kind of weighs that down. And there's also a tuck there. Acts as a pocket. Here is a pocket I made from laminated lace, again from Treasure Books, that idea. I did end up stapling it together um, so that I, I would know that it was down there and not going to be a problem. Here is just a little bit of flippy pad with some um, scrap of paper. And not sure why that's stuck. Okay. With a bow. I tried to tuck in some of those little watercolor um, cardlets that I made there. They're almost like label size, I guess. And then I stuck a sticker on there. All right, so then I made some stamps out of some flowered little rectangles. Stuck a postcard in there. Another little cluster. Um, I had some leftover edge of, edge of a towel, so I stuck that under there instead of lace this time. Um, 
added a card. Here's a page edge made out of jelly print paper and uh, that's a flip over. So here's some more tucking, tucking in spots. This paper was from Pam at the Paper Outpost and that was a freebie in her newsletter. And here is a belly band that I made with the stamped butterfly book page and some music paper. Another cluster tuck. I think this was from a snippet roll. Here is a page long ruffle. Um, this turned out to be a little bit bulky. Might not do that again or use I don't know, maybe just do half the page. I don't know, have, something has to change there. That was a little too bulky. Here is a piece of note paper. And it is, I put that onto this clipboard that I made with um, a piece of calendar, calendar paper and um, what's that called? That stuff from the cereal box. Not cardboard, but, ugh, the name escapes me right now. Anyway, so here's a little faux jewelry thing that we made not too long ago. And that's stuck to that page. So what I did here was I used that laminated lace idea from Natasha at Treasure Books and I made a pen loop. That was an answer for me, that video that she did about uh, laminated lace projects. I had been wanting to attach pens and so far had not found a great way for me to do that. So, um, yeah. And then a large pocket at the end with, surprise, another tag and another little card there. So that is Treasure Piece. And uh, I'm going to put this one on eBay. And I'm going to open the bidding at what I think I need to have to get the cost out so that I can buy more supplies because I want to keep making more and um, so this will definitely if, if and when this sells it will definitely help me to keep crafting let's put it that way I think that would make my husband happy too <laughs> so there we go and you can see that it's not too fond of staying closed on its own that's about as good as it's going to get. All right, so thanks for tuning in and hope you like that to some degree. And we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.